I'm starting this workout with the wheel rollouts. One of the best core exercises. It's one of the best ones for me because I feel it in my abdominals right away almost every single time I use this. But I'm not using it specifically for my abs today. I'm using this one to pre-fatigue my secondary muscles and the chest pressing movement. Look at my triceps. The back of my arms are fully flexed when I do this, so they're getting tired. I'm teaching you guys alternative chest workout routines using a very light weight. I'm using a 40-pound dumbbell. I normally am comfortable with 100 to about 115-pound dumbbells. But because I'm using a much lighter weight today, uh, approximately 35% of my normal weight, I have to pre-fatigue the muscle. From there, incline push-ups. My feet go up on the chair. I will be able to get no more than I would say 15, maybe 20 with this first set. This is much more difficult than doing them flat. And because I've already done that wheel rollout to pre-fatigue the back of my arms, my triceps, this is much harder than normal. Watch my hand position when I do the flies here. I'm going to have my hands in a prone position. Palms facing out. My knuckles are facing my head region. I'm bringing my thumbs together, right? So the thumbs are being put together here. I'm taking my time, coming down very slowly and squeezing at the top, holding the dumbbells in the upper portion of the chest, not allowing myself to lose control. Losing shoulder stability here can be very detrimental. As you can see, my biceps muscles become the number one stabilizer with this one. So my biceps are getting some work here, but as a stabilizer, not as a prime mover muscle, and right away to the chest press. Normally with this exercise, no joke, I could probably hit 100 reps with 40 pound dumbbells, but I will struggle to get anywhere near 15 right now because my muscles are so tired. I start this cycle all over again. Back to the wheel rollouts. I'm scooping my belly button in toward my spine. What does that mean? I'll say it another way. I'm sucking my stomach in as I roll out. I relax when I come back. Look at not only my triceps, but you can also see my upper back muscles are involved with this one too. So I totally recommend anybody who has the ability to do this exercise to add it to your repertoire, maybe once every two weeks or so. This way you're shocking the body. If you do something over and over and over again, your body gets too used to it. So you want to shock the body. All right, from here, I'm going right back into my incline push-ups. Feet are going to be on the chair. Because my triceps are tired, I will not be able to get as many push-ups as I normally would. I would say that, truthfully, I can do about 40 to 50 of these at a clip if I didn't pre-fatigue my muscles. That's how effective that particular move is prior because I, I can't even get 20 reps there. Okay, back to the fly. A nice stretch down. The biceps are working. As I come down, you see the biceps working. Just as a side note, a lot of gymnasts have incredible biceps and they barely work bicep curl exercise. The male gymnasts do the iron cross when they have to open their arms up and the biceps become the major stabilizer. That's how come most of their arms have grown so much. So, if you're looking to add a little spice to your chest training, try doing things a little bit differently. This is just one of the variations I'm, I'm going to show you to do a good at-home chest routine. Pre-fatiguing the muscle is the only way that you can effectively use light weights to get a great routine 
This keeps your metabolism up. Watch this. Chest press. Simple and easy normally, but now, oh my God, this is becoming nearly impossible for me to hit, like I said, 10, maybe 15 reps if I'm lucky, but it's way too difficult. Struggling right there. I'm struggling. So the muscles are turned on. If you doubt that the triceps are working, you are not using your eyes. Look at that. I'm bearing all of my weight into my upper arms. My triceps and my shoulders are working. My lats are also getting a little bit of a workout with this. So do not underestimate the power of the wheel. If you use this effectively... Throw it into your workout every now and again. Your body will reap the benefits. It's a great, great piece of equipment for transformation. And it doesn't take much in terms of uh, repetition schemes. The average person, average like me, anywhere from 10 to 20 reps and I'm spent. Four to five sets, no more. I'm not doing 50 or 100 with this. Back to those push ups. I'm going at a nice explosive right here. I'm not really taking my time with these push ups. I like to throw speed into my workouts when I do a variety of things because my body will challenge, you know, a different part of the, the uh, neuromuscular system when you're trying to add a little bit of speed in. The body loves the fact that you're doing a variation of a move. Again, I hold these nice and high up on my chest. Sometimes when I turn the palms in facing one another, I bring it toward the middle or the lower portion of the chest. Here, I got it nice and high up, squeezing in. This is just one of the chest variety series that I'm going to provide for you. The next one is going to be a different look. Um, certainly a different hand position for the flies, but also different order of exercise. Control. Look at the biceps. Look how long the biceps are, but they're also completely flexed. Look at me struggling with this 40 pounds. All right, so if you have an opportunity, watch this. Take some notes. Try to copy it. Follow along with me. You will not be disappointed. Thanks for watching.